What's up guys? Welcome back to Tenant Baggers, the YouTube channel dedicated to finding stocks that can help us 10x our portfolios. It's a beautiful October morning here in New York and I'm excited to discuss Cardlytics, ticker CDLX with you guys today. Um, I'm going to be going into how this company makes money and why I believe it's going to be a 10 bagger investment for me. If you're interested to know why I think that, please hit the like button and stick around for the video. And uh, don't forget to comment what you guys are, what investments you guys are looking at this month as I love having discussions with the people who view my videos. All right, let's jump into the video. Okay, so Cardlytics is a company focused on two main revenue generating areas. They are contracted by banking institutions to help look at how their card users spend money so that the bank can then successfully run rewards programs for their customers. In turn for this service, Cardlytics is allowed to collect data to see what customers are purchasing and use this to create market insights for buyers at scale. The first part of their business, banking rewards, is really just a foot in the door to a much more disruptive type of marketing for the future called purchase intelligence. Instead of imagining what people will buy or what ads they click on, Cardlytics actually creates a platform where marketers can see exactly how people spend their money and thus can make businesses, business decisions with a higher degree of accuracy when targeting these customers. Purchase intelligence marketing is said to have the highest return on investment at four to six times uh, return on investment for marketers and the greatest efficacy over other types of marketing. Cardlytics is leading in this industry and is literally creating their own total addressable market as time goes on, something I believe that is important for a company with a future wide moat, aka no company is going to be able to compete with Cardlytics um, because they're already so far into creating this market. All right, so let's dive into the financials of the company. The company has seen solid revenue growth with a very healthy 23% annualized growth rate. And in quarter four, 2019, the company finally reported being cash flow positive. In the past 12 months, the company generated an income of 200 million, which is a little low, leaving them with a price to sales ratio of around 10. But again, I believe this is a market opportunity still in the early innings and the company did face some headwinds due to the Rona crisis. The revenue growth and the movement towards being profitable are very healthy signs for the company as they are expanding their users and improving operating costs. I believe we will see quite a rapid increase in revenue in this company as purchase intelligence becomes a more widely used marketing tactic. Uh, and I believe this uh, trend is inevitable. Of course, the company was affected by the Rona but um, because companies reduced their marketing spending and focused mostly on essential services to stay afloat. We saw this type of um, spending drop in stocks like AYX, who just uh, recently jumped up 40% on increased guidance after moving out of the, the crisis. But I, I believe the uh, economic recovery will remain strong into 2021 and companies will look back into areas of disruptive innovation such as purchase intelligence. Another positive sign for the company is that successful fund owner Clifford Sosin, who has quite the track record for finding undervalued stocks, has been buying CDLX in droves since the crash in the market. His fund CAS Investments owns over 4 million shares of CDLX which I believe is a very sizable position in his uh, portfolio. I love that he is buying this stock close to its 50 week 52 week highs. Uh, this just shows his forward looking conviction um, in Cardlytics. It's always good to see what insiders are doing when making your investments. And this, this very successful insider is loading up shares. Uh, one of the reasons I was able to make a 10 bagger out of home is because when home dropped, beneath two dollars a share I saw that Clifford Sosin was investing in home and uh, I actually realized that he had a uh, background as a bankruptcy expert and so therefore I figured he didn't think home was going bankrupt and in just a few months I was able to uh, it just improved my conviction on the investment and I was able to 
basically 10 bag home from there. So I have a lot of faith in, in what Clifford is investing in. Um, so in all, despite major headwinds due to the economic environment, I believe that Cardlytics will greatly benefit from a world that is moving further and further away from cash. Cardlytics will be a leader in uh, purchase intelligence marketing, which due to its return on investment for advertisers, as well as ongoing secular trends in the economy, which is moving away from cash and towards card using, uh, purchase intelligence will be a massive industry in the future. The highly attractive business model, uh, the secular trends, and strong revenue growth, uh, this is more than enough for me to view Cardlytics as a potential 10-bagger. Um, as such, I have placed 1% of my portfolio in CDLX, but I will be looking to increase it to as large as 4% as more capital becomes available. Um, and just as a side note, I love how people say as more capital becomes available. Uh, Literally, I'm talking about when I get paid. I will buy more Cardlytics when I get paid. And, uh, of course, I can make more money if you click the like button. So, please help a brother out. Uh, okay, so that's it. And uh, all the best and happy bagging, folks. Have a great day. Let me know what you think about Cardlytics in the comments section. And if there's any other potential 10 baggers uh, that you know of or that you're looking at, please also share that with, with me and with everyone else who watches these videos. Uh, because obviously the goal of this channel is to get us to 10x our portfolios. All right. Happy bagging, folks.